episode of Brino's Brews, the show that involves drinking and evaluating the wonderful nectar of the gods that is beer. This week on the program, we have, in keeping with the theme of local products, Mr. Mean Imperial IPA from the Warped Wing Brewing Company in Dayton, Ohio. This beer weighs in at 9.7% alcohol by volume and 96 IBUs. Before we get things started, though, we've got a very special scoring system here on Brino's Brews. Let's go over that right now. Scoring for Brino's Brews is based loosely on the scoring system used by the Beer Judge Certification Program. In our system, a beer can earn a maximum of 10 points. One point can be awarded for appearance, two points for aroma, four points for flavor, one point for mouthfeel, and two points can be awarded for a beer's overall impression. And finally, partial points can be awarded in any category. So that's how scoring works, so let's crack open this can of Mr. Mean and find out just how mean Mr. Mean really is. First, let's go for the 1.4 appearance. See how it looks and all that. Let's see if I can get some head here. Got a little bit. Uh, I was afraid that this could happen. I've noticed that some of the local beers that come in cans, or at least some from Wart Wing, have been kind of flat. And this one, as you can see, looks pretty flat. Not a whole lot of head here. I know somebody that ran into a problem with their 10 ton oatmeal stout with the cans being undercarbonated. I ran into one of those beer problems with another local beer. Won't mention the name yet. Head, it's not that big, not, ugh. Let's take a look at it through the light. Through the other light, yep, I've got a second light here. Looks pretty fine, looks decent. Good clarity, nice color. Unfortunately, not much head to speak of. Ran into this problem with uh, death on a previous episode. Once again, I'm afraid that the lack of carbonation in this beer is going to ruin it. And I hate to do that to a local beer. Unfortunately, though, got to take a little bit of points away from that. Clarity looks good. Head is very, very... It's not totally flat. But it's, it could be much better. For appearance, one possible point, I'm going to give it, I'll give it 0.6 points out of one for the appearance. Second part of business is to go for the aroma. I can tell you while I was pouring it, I got a good whiff of it. got a very, very good hoppy smell. So let's see what we get here from a real smell. Got a little beer in my nose. Note to self, never drink with the nose. Once again, the lack of head is just really interfering with my ability to smell this. From the little bit that I was smelling when I was pouring it, it was pretty, it smelled very, very hoppy, and very, very pleasant. From what I can smell, it smells pretty good. Like again, I got a lot of the hoppiness and the um, floral notes that typically come with an IPA when I was pouring it, which was very, very good, very pleasant. Smelling a little bit of a body and maltiness to it too, which is also very pleasant, but that's what you would expect from an Imperial IPA. Nothing about it smells bad. It's not, wow, this blows me away, but it's also very, very good. Out of a possible two points for the aroma, I'm going to give it one and a half. And now time for the most important part of the beer. It's flavor. I've got high hopes for this one, despite the lack of carbonation. Mr. Mean Imperial IPA. Here we go. Ooh. Wow, wow, wow. Ooh. Mm. The face I'm eating is not because it tastes good. It's because it tastes very bitter. At 96 IBUs, it's to be expected. But it's not an, it's not an unpleasant bitterness. I mean, it's, it's not a ridiculous amount of hops where it's like, oh, God, this tastes awful. I think... The balance of this is pretty well. And again, since this is an Imperial 
IPA, you get a little bit of maltiness from it because you gotta put a lot of malt in it to get the alcohol that high. I don't know, maybe I'm getting something a little weird at the end here, on the finish. Some sort of strange aftertaste. I don't know what it is. The more I taste this, the less of the um, hops that I'm getting, but I, I, it's definitely there. I'm getting hops, but I'm getting more and more of the sweetness and the maltiness of this, which is, it's not a really thick kind of maltiness that you would get from a stout, but it's still a nice sweetness, which I like a lot. I'm still getting a weird aftertaste at the end, though. I, I don't know what that weird aftertaste is. If that aftertaste wasn't there, I think this might have gotten maybe a little bit of a higher score. Bottom line is, this is not an Imperial IPA that blows me away. This is not like other Imperial IPAs I've had that are just maybe not perfect in almost every way, but I've had more perfect Imperial IPAs than this. I've also tasted many, many worse beers than this. This is, maybe it's just because this comes from a can instead of a bottle, but it's still pretty good. So I'm going to score this right now for flavor. I feel pretty comfortable giving this beer three points out of four. Up next is the mouthfeel. This is not going to go very well given how flat this beer is, but there's still the body to check for, so let's have a go. Carbonation is terrible, as we've seen. The body is very, very appropriate. Quite a lot of body, because it's an Imperial IPA, it, it works. And again, but again, the lack of carbonation has ruined it in this regard. Body is appropriate. No carbonation doesn't ruin it, but it takes a point, a half a point away. For mouthfeel, at a one possible point, this gets a half point. And now for the overall impression. Once again, we have a beer that has so much potential that had maybe one to two points taken away because of the lack of carbonation. We lost a half a point from the, from the mouthfeel, and it also lost about, point four, about maybe a quarter point, maybe a little bit less for the appearance. And it also, I don't want to say, it also may have taken away from the aroma just because there wasn't a whole lot to smell. I'm sure if there was a nice good head on there, I could have smelled more of the greatness from this. I'm tired of being disappointed with um, undercarbonated beers and just... It happened with Death a couple weeks ago, and it's happened with Mr. Mean here. The flavors are wholly appropriate, the hoppiness is good, the sweetness is good. I just wish it had that carbonation in there just to finish off the wonderful experience of a beer like this. Mr. Mean, I'm sorry, but I've got to be mean to you with this score. That was terrible. That was absolutely terrible, but I'm going to leave that in because of how terrible that was. But I'm going to be mean to Mr. Mean only slightly, though. Nice, but it could have been nicer, and it's only because of the carbonation. So I'm, out of a possible two points, I feel comfortable giving this one and a quarter point out of two. So after totaling up the scores, Mr. Mean from the Warp Wing Brewing Company scores in at 6.85 points out of a possible 10. Because this was a local beer, I wanted this beer to get a much higher score than this. And once again, just like with Death, if this was properly carbonated, I'm sure it would have gotten a much better score. But as it is, it's not. This is a technique that they really, really need to get right if they want to stay successful in this city, let alone regionally or nationally if they would have such ambition. But this is a good beer. I'll drink it. I recommend that you guys drink it. Just when you go to the store to buy these th these cans, just give it the squeeze test. If you can squeeze it and it bows in a little bit, you know it's under carbonated, stay away from it. If you can squeeze it and you have to put some good force in it to bow it in, you've got a good carbonated beer. That will do it for another episode of Brino's Brews here on Brino's World. Don't forget to like, comment, share this video, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And also, before I forget, I have announced it on social media, but I will announce it here as well. If you enjoyed my ghost pepper wing challenge, then I challenge you to share this channel and get as many people to subscribe as possible. Because if I get to 100 subscribers on Brino's World, I will up the ante on my wing challenge 
and I will attempt an honest to goodness Trinidad Maruga Scorpion Wing Challenge. So if you think, know somebody that might like this channel, tell them to subscribe, tell them to check me out. It's going to be good, it's going to be hilarious, it's going to be painful for me. Well, that's that. Thank you very much for watching, and have a good day.